was about 10, 11 years ago. Uh, MCC said to everyone in the cricket world, we want to create a ball that can be used for first class and test cricket under lights. The MCC um, decreed that pink was the colour. So we started off with a pink colour, the lights are on. In the production of the ball, it starts off with leather that's dyed pink. That's the same as how a red ball comes about. It has, it's dyed red. Now, lights, lights will be the thing that determine, doesn't matter how good your ball is, if the lights aren't good enough, you won't be able to see them. St George is, is by far the best lights in the country, <laughs> by a long way. Clearly the lights, um, I'm told, are, are better than Adelaide's lights. So, so if that's the case, you're on a good thing here. Uh, I did, I did hear that, it's, that it's, uh, it gets a bit softer, obviously, and um, I think it was great for South Africa to choose to bat now under the lights because it apparently it moves a lot. It's the first time we're having a pink ball test match in SA, let alone PE, and we are from PE, so we're very glad to share this opportunity with people from all around South Africa, so um, it's very special to us. And it seems like with the new lights, it's actually going pretty well. So we're loving it, definitely. It's nice to be part of these kind of games. Um, those things don't come around very often, so it's always, always nice to share it with a lot of special people who I've shared quite a lot over the last few years. And uh, to be part of the first four-day uh, test match ever, it's, it's something special.